what's the crack lads welcome back to uh, Bayern, Mew Bayern München who are going to have an epic coming we're going to have a pack review of these and a bit of a breakdown and look lads right I've been kind of reading all the comments people and people on Twitter and stuff I mean this this these kind of packs being released man a lot of it is kind of for newcomers that are downloading the game you know they're getting lots of downloads new if you've missed out on these players or previous versions of these players these are going to be good cards right and that's kind of why you know we review them the way we do break them down the way we break them down um you know if you've been playing the game for a year you're probably going to have a lot of these cards or very similar versions of these cards so it's kind of a different it's a different perspective i think depending on where your your squad strength is or your team level is so just to get that out of there right i mean these are being kind of broken down and reviewed and, and looked at as if you're kind of like spinning for these type of cards for the first time or else they compare very nicely against other cards that you might have missed out on right so we have already done barcelona and real madrid or real madrid barcelona and manchester united um and now we are going to be doing Bayern, which have kingsley coleman as their big time epic and then you have davies moteng uh delict and mané right decent cards right i would say that the Bayern pack is probably one of the better packs especially if you are a newcomer and you've got a new squad and you're looking to kind of develop a squad um you get 50 chances at drawing these right so it's up to you whether you spin for these or not um you know can you get standard players and make them work within your squad and get the same results of course right we will cover that on our live stream we always talk about that sort of stuff on our live stream but these cards are kind of you know they are kind of um going to continue to be released so that's just uh that's just going to be it right so we do have coleman to start us off very very good player the thing i don't like about this coleman right it's not that i don't like um the card that much but when you actually look at his player skills he's more kind of focused on finishing you know which as a winger if you're used to playing with the likes of neymar or somebody like that is great right if you're used to cutting in you've got long range shooting you've got dipping shot long range curler uh, you don't have outside curler, which is a bit of an issue with this card, because especially the fact that he is a right-footed player. If you are playing him left winger, um, that's going to be fine. But if you're playing him as a right wing, you you know, outside curler would have been nice. Um, or sorry, vice versa, the other way around. Sorry, lads. Uh, you know, if you're cutting in, you want to be kind of finesse shotting or curl shotting in. Speed and acceleration goes really high without putting too much... Um, stats in when we train him up here 97 acceleration 85 balance but you can't get the offensive awareness too much higher than that because you are going to start to go into the 98 99 category with the acceleration which leaves you no room to get anything from the player form arrows in game so i would definitely cap it at that i would probably look if i was kind of you know if i got this card myself i would be the player that i would be i'd probably pump him up to 95 dribbling lads that's probably where i'd go with it and then i'd probably have 96 into the acceleration and 84 balance 76 offensive awareness you know speed stamina dribbling everything that you could possibly need there we do have Manny as well who's a very similar type of player right you've got you know blister and pace acceleration balance offensive awareness is way higher on Manny. he can kind of play as a center forward type as well i wouldn't play him there but you could definitely play him you know more attacking instead of shooting as much you could just be all about kind of speed and power and just getting into those kind of areas right so the two of those kind of interchange quite well both can play on either flank uh, i do think that manny is more suited as an outright winger similar to what we saw with anthony or similar to what we saw with ansu fatty in previous packs that we reviewed and broke down um but i do like coleman lads you know he is obviously going to be a big player and look if you do a bit of research on it and you kind of even look at player of the weeks that they've reviewed before if you've got a previous version of this pack lads i mean you're not gonna these players aren't gonna win you games man they're it, as i said at the start of the video and i repeated a, like a lot during the live streams and stuff you know there are there are other options there to stay with the standard players i mean the difference between these guys a lot of the time that kind of makes people want to get go from is the 90 team play style and the mixture of um you know skills that they have if they've got some unique skills or if they've got a really nice card that you know people want to use or try out right so you know this guy is a big time he's got 31 levels to go which is a lot we've also got the licked here right so i haven't really used this guy too much obviously he's a bit of a monster he goes to 95 overall we've him trained for a 94 here but he's got excellent everything really i mean he's one of the most complete defenders in the game and like Varane, who i had been sleeping on in the manchester united pack i i do think i've been sleeping on the licked as well because he's got interception and blocker but he's also got aerial superiority acrobatic clearance fighting spirit man marking weighted pass one touch pass and heading like that is ridiculously good for a build-up center half right 16 levels to go kind of limits him a little bit 
but we do train him up to have you know defense stats all in the 90s speed and acceleration in the 70s stamina in 75 jump physical contact in the 80s and then we also have low pass at 71 so i think that that is a brilliant center half that you could build your team around we also have roberto carlos type player davies who's all about pace power getting up and down the flanks don't even waste your time putting defensive stats on this guy, lads. You know, he, he's more of a wing back or a left midfielder. I would definitely be playing him as a defensive left midfielder. He's still able to kind of get in goal scoring opportunities to kind of pass it across the box. 89 dribbling, 96 acceleration, 88 balance. Stats like a winger, lads. He is down as a left mid, but he actually goes to a 92 overall as a winger which is insane right so yeah that is the thing with a lot of these cards man you know if you have other versions of the cards you don't really need to spin from you know especially if you've got somebody like this like davies you could have you know play him left wing you have pinpoint cross and you also have early crosser and you have got blister and pace so usually with wingers and this is why i'm talking about usually with wingers you don't have everything you know all in one you either have like acceleration balance and pace such as what we saw with Mane or Coleman, but they don't have any real passing ability, like crossing ability. Or else, if you've got a crossing uh, left or right winger, you usually have them with no acceleration, like the likes of Kostic or somebody like that, that's able to cross the ball really well, but not be able to get in uh, the, in the 90s with the acceleration. So um, that is how we've trained him up there. I think he's a, he's a very good player. And then last but not least, we do have Chupo Moteng. Um, again, like a fairly standard center forward is he going to change the world for you no i mean if you spun like three packs and you didn't get any of the other buys i just reviewed and you just get this guy would you be disappointed i think so uh you know he has unwavering form and super sub which does save the card a little bit but yeah i wouldn't you know waste my my um my spins on this guy if you have a player up front that you've already been banging goals in with you know there are a lot better players out there so i definitely think that this guy is a bit of a skip now look is that not to say that you could score a lot of goals in him and have a bit of crack with the card yeah of course but as i said at the start lads it's all about perspective right if you are a newcomer to the game and you are jumping in and you've never spun for packs before right these players are being mopped up and that's why you know they will be continued to be released because people want new cards all the time and that's kind of you know that's kind of the way it is especially with a new fan base of you know like with a free-to-play game you're going to have that new fan base continuously refreshing itself and having more new and new players downloading the game you know this week more players will download it next week you've got a conveyor belt of fresh new players looking for fresh new cards all the time and what's fresh for you will not be fresh for somebody else that's been playing it for 12 months or vice versa so yeah look we will get into a little bit more on the stream but that is the Byron pack um we will do training guides and any of these players that you want but until next time lads i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe let me know your thoughts peace